Right, okay, uh, welcome, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, great to see, uh, great to see you all for our uh, one of our uh, our latest research uh, seminar. So uh, delighted you can uh, you can join us. For those who don't know, uh, I'm uh, I'm Mark Benister here in the uh, School of uh, Social and Political Sciences. Um, and welcome to those uh, online as well. We've got a few uh, staff and others joining online too. Um, so really gives me a great pleasure to. Um, to introduce uh, Professor Yu uh, Uchiyama, uh, Professor of Political Science at uh, University of Tokyo, uh, also a visiting scholar at SOAS, uh, where he's currently on a, on a research sabbatical. We also uh, welcome his wife, uh, Professor Yukido uh, uh, Fujita, um, who is a visiting academic at St Anthony's in Oxford as well, and those interested, of course, Ichi specialises in public administration and comparative uh, uh, civil service uh, study. So, um, so very much sort of part of our kind of uh, public policy uh, interest as well here. So, uh, Professor Uchiyama, uh, before entering academia, he uh, worked at uh, um, the Ministry of International Trade and Industry, as it was called uh, then. Uh, so, uh, bureaucratic uh, background, sort of ones who've moved from uh, the civil service into academia. Uh, gained his PhD in political science from the University of Tokyo. Uh, research interests are mainly uh, in uh, um, the sort of uh, Japanese politics, comparative politics of advanced uh, um, uh, economies. And uh, he's published on Koizumi and uh, Japanese politics. Uh, plus, I guess the reasons that, uh, uh, that he's here, I had the pleasure of working uh, together with Professor Uchiyama and with a group of scholars uh, from the UK, uh, comparing uh, UK and Japanese prime ministers, uh, and uh, um, and which was a really interesting comparative um, uh, program. Uh, we started off, or we were we were considering whether uh, UK, the UK Premiership, had become uh, more Japanese with five <laughs> uh, uh, prime ministers in seven years here, uh, and we can hear a little bit about Japanese uh, revolving door Premiership. So we found some fascinating similarities, perhaps between the uh, uh, two countries. And for those who are interested, we published a, a special issue in the Asian uh, Journal of Comparative uh, Politics, uh, looking at uh, those kind of similarities and differences. Um, so it's a particularly interesting time, I guess, to be uh, talking Japanese politics, uh, with Japan hosting the uh, G7 uh, kicking off on, on Sunday. Uh, so, uh, uh, so I'll hand over to you, Professor yeah, Chiyama. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, uh, thank you for joining us, and uh, I would like to say special thank you to Mark for uh, inviting us to this beautiful city, and Nick also Nick. So, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my title of talk is Japanese Prime Ministers and Party Leaders. So, uh, as Mark said, uh, it is a part of our uh, collaborative research project, uh, 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 comparing UK and Japanese prime ministers. And uh, I did uh, the part of uh, party leadership of Japanese uh, minister, prime minister. So, uh, prime ministerial leadership uh, can be, uh, as party leaders, uh, can be analyzed along the three dimensions. First, party centralization. Uh, it means it's power centralized or dispersed within the party. Second dimension is internal cohesion. It means how effectively can the prime minister restrain levels. The third is leadership security. It means how long can the PM be in power? So uh, my paper shows uh, what were and why are the features of Japanese prime ministers or party as party leaders and how and why they have been changed for these 20 years along these three dimensions. So uh, the electoral system of the lower house of the Japanese diet was reformed uh, in 1990s. And the reform had a great impact on Japanese politics. So uh, please note the difference between the pre-reform era and post-reform era. 
And uh, this paper mainly refers to the uh, Liberal Democratic Party uh, as a governing party because uh, that party, LDP, has been in power uh, since 1955, except for short periods. Uh, and uh, uh, there was a uh, governing party uh, called Democratic Party of Japan, but uh, it uh, was uh, in power very shortly, so uh, I'll uh, refer it uh, uh, supplementary. And, uh, this is the uh, photo of uh, the LJP headquarters. So uh, LJP has been in power since 1955, except for or oh, 1993, 1994, and uh, 2009, 2011. So uh, all other uh, period, uh, the LDP has been in power. First, so first I mentioned is party centralization. Uh, pretty formal. I mean, a uh, pretty formal uh, is roughly the latter half of the 20th century. The Organization uh, of the LDP was characterized by its fragmented structure. Power was dispersed within the party rather than centralized around the leader. So, as faction in the LDP were semi autonomous, so power of the prime minister was usually based on the coalition of factions. So LDP Diet members uh, obtained political resources like money and votes on their own. Such resources were not concentrated or at the center of the party, but rather diffused among individual members. Uh, more concretely, uh, for money, uh, politicians received contributions directly from business corporations uh, trade associations and so on. And they often uh, hold a party to raise funds, uh, so called political fund party. And for votes, electoral campaigns were conducted through personal basis, such as Koen Kai, a supporters association. Oh, it's quite unlike the UK system. So, uh, UK uh, politicians uh, are doing campaign uh, based on uh, their party branch. Uh, but, uh, in Japan, uh, such a party branch uh, rarely exists. Uh, actually, actually uh, member uh, themselves uh, must uh, create their own personal basis. So, uh, this is a big difference between the UK and Japan. Um, Anyway, so, uh, so resources are not concentrated, but dispersed. So, LDP politicians had a considerable degree of autonomy uh, within the party. And uh, these two features, I mean, factions and members' autonomy, were mainly caused by the electoral system, uh, so called multi member district system, or SMTV system, essentially means single non-transferable vote system. Uh, anyway, this system, uh, in this system, uh, two, three or five members can be elected in one district. Uh, it's uh, quite different from uh, SMT system in the UK. So, the lower house, uh, formerly the House of Representatives, uh, have the uh, multi-member district uh, system. So in this energy system, uh, LDP ran plural <laughs> candidates in one district. Uh, so uh, there were intense intra-party competition uh, in most of the district. Uh, I mean, uh, in one district, uh, there are uh, three or five LDP candidates, and LDP candidates competed each other. Uh, in this situation, what happened? The candidates could not depend on the party for their campaign. So they came to depend on the factions and uh, they needed to establish their own personal basis like Koen Kai. As a result of this fragmented structure of the LDP, Japanese prime ministers in this era were generally unable to exert 
strong leadership. Uh, Japanese prime ministers in this era are generally a passive leader, uh, not proactive, passive leader. Now, pre reform era. Uh, it means roughly 21st century. The electoral reform uh, was legislated in 1996. Uh, first, the electoral system of the lower house was changed from the multi member district system to a mixture of single member district system, or like the UK commons, and the proportional representation system, or like uh, continental EU countries. Uh, anyway, the two uh, systems uh, is uh, mixtures. And since Actions had grown through intra-party intra competition uh, created by the MD system, uh, as I mentioned. The end of such competition means that factions have lost one of their reason data or reasons of being. So factions are now less powerful than before. Still, uh, they still have a a uh, law, uh, especially in party presidential election, but uh, overall uh, the factions influence uh, decreasing. And because candidate without party endorsement or uh, has a very low possibility of being elected in a, in a SMD and PR, uh, party leaders who have uh, the power to decide the endorsement of candidates are more likely to exert greater power on rank and file position in the SMD and PR than in MMD system. So, uh, in sum, the electoral reform has made the LDP more centralized than before. And along with the administrative reform uh, that was made to reinforce prime minister leaders over the bureaucracy and took effect in 2001, it has made Japanese prime ministers much more influential in decision making. And the case of Koizumi administration, or uh, Prime Minister Koizumi was in power from 2001 to 2006, uh, shows how the LDP has been centralized and the power of the prime minister has been enhanced. Uh, I'll mention uh, it later. Uh, this is a picture of uh, Prime Minister Koizumi uh, when uh, he started his uh, government. Next, uh, the second dimension, internal cohesion. In the pre-reform era, uh, the policy making in the pre-reform era had a consens consensual and bottom-up character, where factions are the backbenchers like Zoku politician and uh, Zoku uh, means literally tribe. Uh, Zoku politicians is a, a group of politicians who specialize in particular policy area and uh, greater uh, exact great influence uh, in the area. So uh, they are, uh, uh, for example, uh, industrial Zoku or welfare Zoku or construction Zoku. So uh, lots of politicians have. Uh, very influential in the policy making, even if they don't have a cabinet post. So anyway, uh, uh, in the past, uh, Japanese policy making style were consensual and bottom up. So uh, the policies uh, made in this way included most of the relevant actors' preferences before they were submitted to the diet. Uh, so uh, very few politicians who rebelled against the prime minister in the diet in this era, because they just uh, didn't need to rebel. Uh, the preferences are already included in the policy. So, uh, sorry, uh, here, uh, this is a figure. Uh, so, hey, this uh, period before 90 or so, uh, 92 to, uh, 94 is a very fabulous uh, era, so <laughs> uh, it shows very high rate of, of, of levels, but uh, in the past, uh, very few reverse appearance. Uh, and so, uh, this is the 
fixture of the Japanese diet uh, equivalent to Westminster. And uh, so, post reform, the electoral reform has provided the prime minister with a powerful instrument uh, to control the party. Uh, I mean, the power of endorsement. So the prime minister or the party leader had this power before the electoral reform. The reform has made the power far more effective. I mean, uh, the uh, power more by the power uh, of endorsement. I mean, the uh, the prime minister's power to decide uh, former candidates or in the election. So the effect of this power is typified by the developments after the so-called postal election in 2005 conducted by Koizumi. Uh, and in this election, Prime Minister Koizumi effectively used his power of endorsement. Koizumi did not endorse those who voted against his postal privatization bills and ran other candidates, uh, they are called assassins, uh, in their districts. And uh, so, uh, uh, this uh, Kaizen behavior uh, gave great shock to uh, LDP members. So, actually, uh, all of the LDP members began to fear Koizumi. So, uh, this is the uh, year of post So, uh, now the levels completely disappeared. So, uh, it's because uh, Koizumi's assassin strategy higher raised each politician's subjective probability uh, that uh, heavy sanctions against rebellion would be actually taken, or it higher raised uh, the expected value of the cost of rebellion. Oh, anyway, uh, as I said, uh, Koizumi's behavior uh, was very striking. Uh, to the Persian, and uh, they were now impressed uh, how the PPM had a great power onto us. So, uh, now, uh, internal uh, cohesion. So, uh, another instrument that can be utilized by the Prime Minister to control the party uh, is the power of appointment. I mean, the power to allocate the government and the party post to the politicians. And uh, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, uh, who was sadly assassinated last year, uh, was most skillful at using this power. Uh, for example, uh, when the reduced tax rate for the consumption tax, uh, uh, consumption tax, tax is equivalent to the VAT in the UK. Anyway, uh, the reduced tax was introduced. Uh, some of LDP members uh, opposed, uh, especially uh, the Tax Research Council head, uh, Takeshi Noda, uh, was strongly opposed to it. But Abe uh, wanted to promote the reduced tax, so Abe sacked Noda and replaced other uh, people uh, who were more obedient to Abe. So uh, this is just one case. Uh, 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 we can uh, find lots of cases uh, Abe used his appointment power to promote his uh, pet policy. Anyway, based on the Japanese prime ministers, notably Koizumi and Abe, have been successful in restraining rebe rebellion. Oh, this is a picture of uh, Abe. Uh, probably uh, you are very acquainted with. Now, uh, the third dimension. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, this is the DPA, Democratic Party of Japan, uh, which was uh, in power uh, just three years. So uh, DPJ itself, itself is the product of the electoral reform. So uh, as you know, uh, as the Burgess law says, uh, SMD system tended to create a two-party system. And when it took the DPJ took power in 2009, the DPJ attempts to establish a centralized decision making. However, the party was ideologically too diverse, so it lacked enough cohesion to realize centralized decision making. So uh, uh, there was a political mess uh, then, and finally the DPJ split up 
around the consumption tax issues uh, and lost power in uh, 2012. And again, uh, Abe uh, took, took power. So uh, the third dimension, leadership security. In the pre-reform era, uh, the LDP leaders uh, in the LDP, they called society president, party president, were generally elected according to the functional logic. It means the candidate who was successful in making a winning coalition between factions was usually elected party president. So the position of party president was based on a coalition of factions. As competition among the factions was so fierce, the position of the party president tended to be unstable. So the length of the tenure of the prime ministers in and after 1970s uh, was about two years on average. Uh, except Nakasone, Yasuhiro Nakasone was uh, in power uh, about uh, six years, but uh, the other ministers have very short tenures. In addition, the length of the term of the party president is fixed uh, according to the party constitu constitution, uh, and uh, re election is limited. So uh, it means uh, uh, the opportunity uh, to ch challenge the incumbent uh, comes uh, periodic periodically. So uh, it makes the uh, PM's position weaker. And post reform uh, the position of the party president has become more stable, as I mentioned, uh, after the, the electoral reform. But, uh, ah, sorry, as they have now effective instruments to control the party. So uh, if, 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 if uh, there is an uh, ambitious politician turning to the incumbent, uh, the PM uh, can uh, try to uh, destroy them by using uh, lots of tools to control the party. So uh, actually, two of the prime ministers in the 21st century served very long. Koizumi served five years and five months. And Abe, the first Abe government was a failure, but the uh, second Abe government was very successful. Uh, Abe uh, served seven years and eight months. Oh, it is extraordinarily long in Japanese history. Actually, Abe is the uh, longest serving prime minister in Japanese history. In the meantime, the other LDP prime ministers in this era had very short tenure. Uh, for example, uh, Abe's first government and uh, Fukuda, Aso, and Suga, they are all LDP prime ministers after Koizumi, served just a year. And the DPJ Prime Minister, uh, Hatoyama Kanoda, uh, they are also in power just, uh, just for a year. Sorry. Ah, sorry. So, uh, why? Uh, there are some short tenure prime ministers. So this phenomenon relates to the personalization of politics. Since the electoral reform, the image of the leader, uh, that is the face of the party, it has become crucially important. If the party has a popular leader, the chances for the party's candidates to win will be increased, and vice versa. As long as the prime minister keeps high popularity, his or her chances of serving long are very high. So it's typified by the Koizumi and Abe. However, if the leader lacks popularity among voters, it is more likely that viable challenges appear and the situation becomes fluid. Thus, unpopular prime ministers tend to have short term, short tenure. <laughs> uh, this is the picture of 2001. So uh, this is the uh, LDP headquarter and uh, Koizumi's big poster was 
Japan move on <laughs> LDP headquarters. So uh, it means uh, the LDP used Koizumi as a LDP's face. So Koizumi was very popular. So uh, uh, yeah, in Japan, uh, it says, uh, uh, please vote for, for LDP uh, that supports Koizumi. So conclusion. Uh, first, party centralization. The SMD and the PR system has been introduced into the lower house by the elect electoral reform uh, since the mid 1990s. As the reform ended intra party competition within the LDP, the party has become much more centralized and the power of the prime minister has been greatly enhanced. Uh, and for internal cohesion, uh, the electoral reform has provided prime ministers with a strong instrument to control the party, uh, I mean the power of endorsement. Thus, internal cohesion or has got greater. Third dimension, leadership security. Uh, though the power of the prime minister, the party leader, has been reinforced by the electoral reform, a considerable number of the prime ministers in the 21st century had short tenure of about an year. And the personalization of politics has made the position of unpopular prime minister uh, very unstable. And uh, finally, uh, are some uh, UK Japan comparison. So uh, it's over all similarity or difference. For the similarity, the Labour and the Conservative parties in the UK and the LDP and the DPJ in Japan have all faced internal dissent. In order to overcome it, uh, the leaders have relied on public opinion and the mass members of their respective parties, which could be called democratization. And for the difference, while rebellion rates are increasing in the UK, some of the Japanese prime ministers, namely Koizumi and Abe, were very successful in restraining rebellion. They were able to repress rebels because they were skillful at utilizing the power of endorsement appointment and because they kept high approval ratings. And uh, UK Japan comparison the uh, three dimensions. Uh, this is uh, uh, the part of uh, Hepper's paper. So yeah, uh, Tim Hepper's paper and my paper uh, uh, kind of twins. So, uh, uh, if uh, uh, you read both of a paper, so uh, you can systematically uh, compare you can Japanese prime minister. Anyway, so uh, so for party centralization, uh, we can observe a trend both in Japan and the UK towards increasing party centralization uh, that has facilitated their stronger and more effective prime ministerial leadership. For internal cohesion, the trend away from intra-party factionalism and towards greater internal cohesion that has been, has been uh, evident for Japanese prime ministers has not been observed for UK prime ministers. All of the uh, recent UK prime ministers, uh, like uh, Johnson or uh, Truss, uh, or uh, May, a Cameron, <laughs> uh, uh, recent prime ministers uh, have been suffering an increasing level of inter party rebellion. For leadership security, the trend toward the personalization of prime minister leadership differs for Japanese and UK prime ministers. So, uh, UK and Japan both have this trend, but uh, the uh, effects are slightly different. So while a clear correlation exists between approval ratings for incumbent Japanese prime ministers and the ability to hold on to office, uh, the situation for UK prime ministers is complicated by the uh, party leadership eviction procedures. So there are significant procedural obstacles to challenging incumbent party leaders in the UK. So uh, this is uh, difference uh, between Japan and UK. So, uh, okay, so uh, it's uh, just my talks. So, uh, thanks for listening.